and welcome to day five. Today we're going to be reading from Matthew 26, verses 36 to 46. We'll be talking about the prayer in the garden. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he told the disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and he began, began to be very sad. He said to them, I am deeply, deeply sad. Stay here and stay awake with me. Then Jesus went a little farther down and he fell face down and he prayed, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, but not as I will, but as you will. He came back and guess what his disciples were doing? <gasps> they were sleeping. He said, Wake up. Please stay awake and pray for me. Then he went out again and he prayed a second time. And he came again and he found them <gasps> sleeping again. And he said, wake up, are you still sleeping? The time is near. It is time for me to be betrayed. Get up, let's go. See, my betrayer is near. Jesus took his friends to a very special garden to pray. Why do you think it was a good place to pray? Maybe it was quiet, maybe it was cool, maybe it was just very comfortable. Do you and your family have a place that you like to pray? My family, we like to pray in the living room. We sit down in the chairs in our living room and on the couch, and we share prayer requests together. Sometimes we use a prayer board just like this. You could have something like this. You could have a big cork board somewhere where you put your family's prayer requests. And I think about what maybe could we pray for tonight, my family says. And sometimes my kids will say school. Sometimes my kids will say friends. And we pray for our schoolwork, we pray for our friends, we pray for our playtime, we pray for mom and dad as they go to work. There's all sorts of things that we can pray for. And we thank Jesus that we can talk to him anytime, anywhere. You have a great day.